bend down my neck this foundation is my exact skin color so i don't even need to take it down my neck too much and i'm not going to add any more product my new foundation routine i love it to be very light and simple like my face feels like face i would first go in with found and i'm only going to apply it where foundation is supposed to uh, concealer is supposed to be you can see i avoided under applying foundation under my eyes because i love my whole skin routine right now to be very 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 light and simple it should still resemble me small at least the key here is to push in the concealer push not sweep just push it in there's nothing wrong with using a concealer that is like a shade lighter than you if you want to go for a very very simple simple skin look you can just use this one you can see it gives me a very very subtle kind of highlighting but what i want to do i want my highlighting to be very 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 pronounced where there is no product i'm going to use it to blend everything together this one this uh, found the one i'm using is the la girl in the shade found it does highlight but it doesn't highlight so much so i like how it highlights my forehead and the other areas of my face because i don't like those places to look too bright but i still want them to look highlighted so if you're okay with this kind of subtle simple kind of highlighting it's good you don't have to use a second concealer you can skip the next step that i am about to do i take my time to blend well and the truth is on youtube here nobody is going to upload a video except maybe it's a live stream nobody's going to upload a video completely showing you how they blended till the last um, how they blended till how they blended their makeup completely like nobody is going to show you that so right now the one i'm using is the medium beige and i'm just concentrating it directly on my under eye you can see the difference now because i want this place to be really 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 highlighted the next thing i will be using is this this is the la girl concealer in the shade i don't know if you can see it in the shade um mahogany okay the next thing i'm going to do is i'm also going to do, use this to contour my nose but i'm going to be extremely light-handed and i'm going to apply it just here i'm first going to use it to draw the line of where i want to contour I had to change the brush because the brush wasn't really blending in my makeup well so i'm taking it down to my eyes i'm blending it down the bridge of my nose so that's basically it guys the 
medium edge and I'm going to apply that here just to sharpen my nose contour so what I'm doing now is just marrying everything together after using the concealer again to cut the nose contour so the next thing would be to set yeah for me because i want to do an eyeshadow look that the palette i'm using is going to have fallout i'm definitely going to be leaving um some powder under my eye I want to try the fox eye tutorial because that seems to be what is trending right now and that's why I'm going to make this powder or setting powder under my eye very sharp to like give me a winged effect my eye is tearing because I mistakenly put the foam into my eyes so yeah hmm, I didn't show you guys what I'm using to set is the Sasha buttercup setting powder I'm also going to use it to cut out my contour to make it sharp another thing I notice nowadays that makes my contour very sharp and makes my chin looks lifted is if I start to cut my contour from my lips from the joining of my lips at the middle down and then you take the powder up to your ears like the beginning of your ears and your forehead like your hairline where your hairline starts or st yeah starts so this is it it makes the contour very sharp and again guys blending is key make sure you blend very very well so this is it and then for my head I just like to dust the powder on my head I don't really like to leave powder on there for long so I, this is what i do i just dust it on there and that's it for my nose i'm going to set my nose as well and i would use a very slim flat brush to set it because i want my nose to look very very slim we do not want to mess up the whole contouring and highlighting that we have succeeded in doing. So the next thing right now would be to set our contour to set my contour. There are two um, contour palettes that I use to set my contour, depending on any one I feel like using. But right now, this is the one my hand could reach. So I'm using the Zikel Face Definer, and this is how Zikel Face Definer, and this is how it looks like. So it comes with a contour powder, a highlighting powder, and a bronze. So I'm going to use this to set my contour. You can see I'm just sweeping it on it. I'm just sweeping it on it. I kept this powder on my face like I said before because I wanted to let my fox eye you know look like a fox eye you see what I was saying about this would make your contour very sharp and popping that's what I meant okay so I'm going to take that powder from the Ezekiel contour palette and still draw that same line that I drew before and draw the same line here the line should be how slim you want your nose to look like and I'm going to take this up to my eye and the next thing would be to blend for blending I use 
a blending brush and I'm just going to slightly blend I'm not going to blend this into the highlighted part of my nose I'm going to blend this downwards so this is it very very simple guys well this is not blending in the way I want so <laughs> we're going to do it the ratchet way the ratchet way which is with our hands and I'm going to blend these down I'm going to use this to cut the contour you can see how sharp it now makes the loose contour look so you take the powder and you just use it to tone down the contour a little bit but you avoid that line that you drew before And I'm doing this because of the shape of my nose. That is why I am applying the powder just at the center because that's how my nose is shaped. Some people can blend their nose contour down here, but anytime I do that, my nose always ends up looking weird. So I'm going to go in with the contour powder. I'm not applying any new product is what is still left on the brush and I'm trying to you know contour according to the shape of my nose okay this is how my nose is shaped so sometimes why your contour is not working now is because you're trying to follow another person's um, contour method or contour tricks and it works well for them because I'm just constructing my nose and making it look like how my nose will normally look like so if you do that just follow the shape of your natural nose how your nose was naturally before you the shape of your nose it will make it look slimmer i'm going to go back again with that powder and i'm going to use it to just diffuse everything that i've done here just going to use it to blend 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 Nose contour was like the hardest thing for me then. And guys, that is it. You are done. The next thing would be to highlight. For highlighting, I will be using this brush. And for highlighter, I normally I do have highlighter, but sometimes I don't know where I kept it. Just like now, I will just go in and use this brown here from that same eyeshadow palette that I told you guys I'm mixing it with white it already looks like a what's it called it already looks like a highlighter and I'm going to apply this to can you see my cheekbone just to lift it up at the highest point of my cheekbone is where I normally would apply my highlighter can you see what an eyeshadow can do for you then I'm going to apply the same thing here I don't spread it everywhere I just apply it because I'm trying to make my chin look smaller so I'm just going to apply a little and a little here as well and then make more of the highlighting on my oh god oh my god oh yeah 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 what is left here I'm just gonna apply it here just a little apply it here as well just a little and I'm going to blend it out blend it out blend it out blend, blend it out blend it out now it's time to blend this part out yeah it's time to blend this out as well I'm concentrating it more here because I'm trying to give my make my forehead looks smaller and that was why I extended my contour so much this highlighter is blinding guys it is blinding I never knew this palette could be this great I would have been using it all this while I mean 
so now I'm going to now do the same thing on my nose I'm first going to apply it here this pointed part of my nose just to make the nose look you know popping I don't know why that word just keeps entering my mouth and at the highest point of the bridge of my nose I just have to highlight that point you know if that point is not popping where else will be popping <sighs> okay I think this is it guys to finish up the whole look would be to set the face and to set the face I I do normally blush my face and I think it would only be fair because I'm showing you guys my contour routine to do some blushing I classic makeup blush and that's what I would use to dust just a little smile and I like to mix blush with my highlighter I don't know it just kind of like changes everything for me you can see how light-handed I am I was just saying I was light-handed and now I have gone overboard. Oh my god. Oh my god. But look. It just kind of like adds some dimension to the face. This is how you should. Actually, this is how you should blush, but I went overboard here. I did a review on this already. The Cara Dewey's Spritz Spray. It is a dewy spray, so I'm gonna, you know, just spray it on top to set the entire look. And I think I would also add more highlighter to, like, um, to the top of my lips. look this is my foundation highlighting and contouring routine I hope you were able to learn a thing or two from my routine this I find the easiest way to do highlighting and contouring for me and also my face is lightweight very 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 lightweight and everything I use today for my makeup is drugstore like a drugstore makeup brand different drugstore makeup brands helped me achieve this look and that's what making me look like a snack tonight this is i think this should be maybe 9 p.m in the night and okay 8 45 p.m and i'm going to wash my face off because i am not going anywhere but if you guys love this video give this video a thumbs up share like comment until i come your gateway again next time Thanks for stopping by. See you in my next one. Bye. Yeah.